Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be looking at Fabric which is a mod loader for Minecraft Java edition. I am on the latest release which is 1.17.1 .1, and I'm going to show you guys how to download, install and set up Fabric for Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1 .1. and I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it using two different methods because in my previous videos I only showed you how to do it using one method so I'm going to show you how to do it using two different methods and it's quite easy. It is showing me the horse's health there, as you guys can see. And if I attack it, it's going to show me how much damage it's also taking as well, which is really cool. I do like this mod. If we go into the game menu, click on mods over here. As you can see, I've got a new mods menu button here. And you can now see that I've got fabric load installed. I've got mod menu installed. And I've got this other mod, which is called Toro Held Damage Indicators installed as well. So by using fabric, which is actually similar to using forward so some of you might know forwards quite well and have been using it to install your mods but fabric is another good alternative and i do think you guys should definitely give fabric a go it's got some nice mods in it as well which you can try so i'm going to show you guys how to now download and install fabric for minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 all right, so the first thing we're going to do is actually install java because we do need java to open up the fabric jar file installer to install fabric so if we go to our internet browser and just start typing in java jdk 16 because this is the latest release of the java jdk file and if we click on the link which is the oracle.com link over here because i'm on a windows based system i'm going to click on the windows x64 installer which is this link here all right so as you guys can see the java jdk version 16.0.2 has finished downloading so we can close this down the next file we need to get is the fabric installers. So in your search bar, just type in Minecraft fabric. And don't worry, guys, I will leave a link in the description for all of these downloads, which I'm showing you guys today. So you can just look in the description and click on the links. Now, the main website for fabric is this one, which is fabricmc.net. So let's open up the main website for fabric. Now, when you go on here, you might start looking for the download link, which is hidden away somewhere because it took me a while to figure this out as well so you can actually click this bit here where it says to install fabric you need the fabric loader which you can download here or you can click on the use link at the top menu here so just click on use in the top menu and it, it will say installation for minecraft launcher and now we've got two options as i mentioned earlier we can either use the installer which is the jar file or we can use the installer which is the windows exe file so it depends on which version you guys want to use. I'm going to show you how to install both of them. So if we click on the download installer, universal jar file, click on keep, and then click on the download installer for the Windows EXE file as well. Okay, so the next file we need to download is the Fabric API because we do require the Fabric API to be placed in the mods folder for all the other mods to work. So as you guys can see, it says here, most mods will require you to install Fabric API into the mods folder. So just click on this link for Fabric API. And it will take us to a curseforge.com website. And then we, we can just click on files and click on download, making sure it's for the latest release, which is 1.17.1. And uh, let's wait for that to finish downloading. All right, so as you guys can see, it's finished downloading the Fabric API file. And let's close this down. Okay, so the next file we're gonna download, and which in my opinion, I think it is required because by default, Fabric does not show you a mods button in the main menu. So if you've ever used Forge before, you would have seen a mods button in the main menu, which you can click on and see all your mods in the game menu. But with Fabric, it doesn't have that. So we're going to download the mod menu mod, which will enable us to see all the mods installed in the main menu. So in your search box, just type in Minecraft mod menu and scroll down. So you will see a link to the curseforge.com website over here, which will be the, one of the first links in the search results. So click on that. It will take us to the mod menu curse forge link click on files and then just click on download to start the download for it so as you guys can see it's finished the mod menu download as well so i'm going to close this down i'm now going to download another mod just to show you as an example so if we go to the curse forge website so let's go to curseforge.com click on minecraft and then click on the mods link over here and let's sort it by fabric so because I've selected fabric, we can see we've got a few different mods here. And let's look for a mod for this. So I'm going to go for a zeros minimap just to show you guys as an example, because this is one of my favorite mods that I do like to use. And if we click on files, now do be careful over here. We do need to get the file for fabric. So if we scroll down, 
you'll notice that it does say 21.14.1 for forge version 1.17.1 so that will not work with the fabric installation we do need to get it for fabric so this is the case with all mods just make sure that you are downloading it for fabric and not forge okay so the file we need to download is this one which is the version 21.14.1 for fabric 1.17.1 so i'm going to click on this link here and i'm going to click on download and wait for the download to finish all right so as you guys can see it has finished the zeros minimap for fabric download as well and what i'm going to do now guys i'm going to put all of these files on my desktop and then show you how to actually install fabric and get everything set up all right so as you guys can see i have placed all of the files on my desktop now the first file we need to install is the java jdk version 16.0.2 and all we need to do is just double click on that file as you guys can see it does say the software has already been installed on your computer would you like to install it i'm going to select yes and let's wait for that to start up i'm going to click on next and go with all the default options it doesn't take that long it's quite quick to actually install it there we go so as you guys can see it now says java has been successfully installed let's close this down let's move this file out of the way now we can focus on the fabric installers so i'm going to show you how to install the jar file first of all now it's completely optional you guys can select to install it using the jar method or you can select to install fabric using the windows installer if that's easier for you so i'm going to show you how to do it for the jar method first of all so i'm going to right click on the fabric installer jar file hover over where it says open with and then select java platform se binary and because we've installed java it is showing us that option if we did not have java installed on our system it may not show that for you so instead if you're having problems then go for the windows installer Okay, so as you guys can see, it says Minecraft version. You can select the latest one, load a version, select the latest version there as well. Create profile, we want that selected, and then click on install. As you guys can see, it now says Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. So click on OK and close this down. And if we open up our Minecraft launcher, you will notice that now it should have a drop down for Fabric Loader. All right, so there we go. As you guys can see, it does say Fabric Loader and this drop down over here in the bottom left. And if we wanted to load up the game using Fabric, we just click on play. Go to installations as well it should say fabric loader 1.17.1 over here as well so we do know that fabric has been installed successfully um, what i'm going to do now i'm going to click on these three dots i'm going to click on delete click on delete and get rid of that from the launcher i'm going to close this down i'm now going to install fabric using the windows installer just to show you guys so again as i mentioned you've got two options you can either install fabric using the jar installer or you can install fabric using the windows installer so let's double click on the windows installer and it should open up the similar window that we did see before. So there we go. As you guys can see, this is exactly the same as what we would see if we were to open up the Fabric Jar Installer. And again, make sure that the version is the latest one. Loader version is the latest one as well. Make sure Create Profile is ticked and then click on Install. As you guys can see, it says Fabric Loader has been successfully installed. Click on OK, close this down. And now let's move this out of the way. Let's open up the Minecraft Launcher again. And similar to before, it should have a drop down in the bottom left there where we can select fabric loader so there we go and we can click on play to load up the game with fabric loader for version 1.17.1 if i go to installations as well similar to the jar installer it says fabric loader 1.17.1 now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to actually install the mods for fabric so if we just hover over any of these two sections here and in the installation section let's hover over any of these two installations and just click on the folder icon over here it should load up the minecraft main directory so close down the launcher and then go back into the directory and in this folder you should have a folder that says mods so as you can see i've got one here that says mods if you don't have this folder for any reason right click anywhere in your minecraft directory hover over new and then click on folder and then just rename it to mods all right so if we go into the mods folder you can see that I've got mods already placed in here from my previous example. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy all of these other mods into this folder. So I'm going to place the fabric API mod into here, replace the file. I'm going to put the mod menu jar file into here as well, replace the file. And then I'm going to install a zeros minimap for fabric version 1.17.1 1 .1 into the mods folder. So your mods folder should look something like this where You've got the fabric api you've got the mod menu and then you've got the other additional mods in here making sure they're all for the latest release of minecraft so let's close this down now we open up the launcher and we can now load up the game with the fabric installed 
and we should be able to enjoy our mods as well. So you've got two options. You can either make sure that Fabric Loader is selected in the drop down here, click on play, or we can click on installations and click on the play button here for Fabric Loader. So let's click on play and wait for the game to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it's loaded up the game. Let me just maximize that. And at the bottom, it does say Minecraft version 1.70.1 slash Fabric. So we do know that it has loaded the game with Fabric and that because we've got mod menu installed, it now has a button here that says mod. So we can click into this and now we can see we've got all of the installed mods showing on here. So I've got Fabric API, Fabric Loader. I've got the mod menu mod as well. I've got Toro Health Damage Indicators and I've got Zero's mini map as well here. And you can click on the mods and then click on this button here to configure them as well. And you can do that in game as well as in the main menu. So you do have some options. You can't do it for Toro Health Damage Indicators, but you can do it for Zero's Minimap. You can do it for Mod Menu as well. So as you guys can see, you've got different options here. Click on Done. Let's go into a new world. Let's wait for this world to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, I do have the Minimap and it has loaded me into the game uh, with the mods installed. So as you guys can see in the top right there, I do have the Minimap showing. And let me just go and quickly find an animal over here. And then if I was to put my pointer at it, I can see it's health because we've got the damage indicators as well, as you guys can see. So this is how easy it is, guys, to install Fabric and the Fabric mods. So if you've never used Fabric before, I would highly recommend that you give this one a go. It's really easy. It does have some really cool mods that are only based on Fabric and not Forge. So I would highly recommend that you do install Fabric and try it out. If you guys found this video useful, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about installing Fabric, how to download Fabric and how to configure Fabric for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1, please do leave them in the comment section below. And please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.